Hey, I know tennis players across the country and around the world have always admired the smoothness, the fluidness of the professional strokes. But those guys have spent thousands of hours and millions of balls to master their tennis motor memory. Is it too late for us? I, uh, I never played when I was a kid. Uh, we never played tennis in the Bronx, but uh, after we were married, she uh, said, come on, I'm going to teach you how to play tennis. And so she was my first instructor, and I really got started. You're a good student? Yeah, I was a good student, but I got started too late. If you don't get these moves down when you're a kid, you don't get it. Well, Regis makes a good point. I know that you as tennis players would rather play than practice. I can't blame you. It's a lot more fun to play than practice. But a lot of times you're caught in a compromising position. You don't like to miss even in practice or in the warm-up. So what do you do to master your tennis motor memory? Well, a good friend of mine, Jimmy Aries, and I have put together a series of exercises to help you master your tennis motor memory. Former U.S. Open semi-finalist and number four in the world, Jimmy Arias. What is tennis motor memory at the pro level? Motor memory is being able to reproduce a stroke over and over again, especially under pressure. You have to be almost automatic where you don't have to think about it. How does one develop tennis motor memory, Jimmy, at the pro level? Well, the only way to develop it is really to play over and over many, many hours. When I was a little kid, my father stood behind me eight hours a day on the weekends and made sure that I hit every stroke the same way. That was his main th theme whenever we were practicing. Hi, Icon Management Team. It's a real honor to be invited to submit some tips for all the enthusiasts in tennis, in pickleball, in golf, and in fitness for those who are homeowners that are managed by the Icon Corporation. Yes, I'm going to go to the archives, and Nate Griffin asked me to submit a number of tips for you. Let's use a program that the former number five player in the world and the current IMG director of tennis, Jimmy Arias, helped us produce, and also John James, the guru of tennis instruction. And our son, Davidson Kozlowski, who played his college tennis at Florida State University and competed on the Pro Tour, now coaching in his ninth year at Drake University. There's only one catch to the deal. Let's take a look and see what that catch is. All we ask is a commitment from you to do these simple exercises 60 times a day, 30 days, and you will have mastered your tennis motor memory. We decided to make the first tip on the importance of finger spread on the tennis grip. Why? Because in all sports, you need the finger spread to relax the arm, to relax the shoulder, to get the sensitivity in the hand, to get the feel. So let's get a grip on our spread finger tennis grip. Sensitivity in the hand and relaxation in the shoulder are two key ingredients in a good forehand. Look how smooth Jimmy is on his forehand. Look how relaxed John is on his forehand. Here's an exercise. The next time you're at a traffic sign, pull out a rolled up grip. Place it between the middle finger and the index finger. Now squeeze it 60 times. Squeezing the rolled up grip will give you the feel of the space between the middle and the index. It will also strengthen the fingers to stay spread on the grip. Remember, all your other sports, the fingers are spread for sensitivity. Hope that you enjoyed the tip on the spread finger grip. If you want to see more tips and see them all at one time, go to Master Your Tennis Motor Memory with the Kaz and Jimmy Arias. You'll find it on YouTube. And we'll see you again for a single tip coming up soon.